Hi everyone, Sherry Canino here, and today I have a quick tutorial showing you how I created these little scrolls with some book paper, magazine paper, and some old scrapbook paper. So I'm starting out with a sheet of scrapbook paper, and it has like some vintage writing on it, and I'm just ripping all the edges. You want to have a white edge, so you want to make sure that when you're ripping the paper, the piece that you're pulling is being pulled towards you. That'll get you that nice white edge. Now I'm using some Distress Stain um, in the Walnut Stain, Distress Ink, I'm sorry. Just applying it with a cosmetic sponge. And then I show you if the edges aren't dark enough, you can actually just go and apply it directly um, ink to paper. That gives you a nice, really dark, worn, vintage edge. Then just roll it up into a little scroll and tie it with either some jute or twine or ribbon, whatever you have. And there's your little scroll. For the next one I'm showing you is just a piece of magazine paper. So in case you don't have scrapbook paper, you can just use a magazine. Again, you want to rip the edges. Now I'm showing you how I used a soaked tea bag to apply the dark brown color. You don't get as dark of a brown, but it's fine. It works great and it really does give it an awesome vintage look. With this, you wanna make sure that you actually apply the color all over the page because you don't want that white. I could dry it with a heat gun or put it in the sun. Uh, you saw me there actually taking the tea bag and pouncing it onto the uh, piece of paper because I felt like that was gonna give it a little bit of a darker color. And it did work out great. Again, just tie your um, twine or your jute and your little scroll is finished. And lastly, we do a sheet of book paper. And again, this time I'm actually just going in directly with the soaked tea bag. I didn't even bother with a sponge. And this really soaks it up amazing because, you know, uh, book paper is very poor. And if you wanted to, you could write yourself a little, you know, a little note on the other side that you're rolling up, a uh, positive affirmation, whatever it is you like. You can add it to your art journal. You could add it to your altar. Um, whatever you might want to use it for. It's just a cute little idea, and I thought I'd share uh, my ideas with you guys. And um, I hope you have fun with this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Don't forget to leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel. Bye.